Welcome to this video. So today we're going to talk about Click's auto calendars. So the auto calendars are not, I'm not talking about the calendars which basically we do um, generate. There is Click View as well as uh, custom calendars. But what I'm talking about is the Click auto generated calendars, um, which helps us to identify, do certain analysis, uh, which are very, very important for Click, um, especially the inside part. So and I have seen, um, believe me, I have uh, never seen so far a practical production application which is making use of these auto calendars. And um, most of the places where I've seen is only in the presentation and the sales demo, <laughs> nowhere else. And um, uh, then also, if you, um, if you, I have done some previous videos on Insight Generator, um, click Insight, which is augmented and artificial intelligence making use of you know these techniques uh, to create analysis for you um, heavily rely on these auto calendars and uh, if I go back to analysis in here if this uh, um, if you see I do not have auto calendar here and if I go to the inside generator and if I go on to period of period analysis if you see there is nothing in here uh, these are grayed out I cannot use them because I do not have the auto calendar and the other analysis as well uh, have issues because of this particular thing. Okay, so how to overcome that? So let's get started. The first thing is um, the easiest way to do is uh, just add an auto calendar script and auto calendar script is uh, you can get that from anywhere. So I just added the auto calendar script and the important thing, the only thing that you need to change is will be this particular column. So let's see that how we can get this auto script. So what you have to do is take any QED, any Excel file anywhere, even with a single um, date field, uh, a single row, and but it should have a date uh, field. So what I'm doing here, I'm doing here is I'm going to create a new application and let's call it calendar and I'm going to add a calendar data that I have This is basically sales data, so which has the sales data as well. So I'm using to drag it or I can use uh, click data manager to get that. So the uh, advantage of that is click automatically identify that it's a date field and uh, it automatically creates auto calendar for me at the back end. And uh, uh, then I can use that to get this particular script. So this is what exactly why I, what I'm doing in here. So I'm not going to sheet. Let's go to that a lot editor here. And this is auto generated script. If you see, uh, this is auto generated automatically. And if you see the date is here, I need to change the date, whatever date is in my, um, my data, maybe it's order, maybe fiscal date, whatever. So I need to change that. And in order to copy that, I need to unlock it first. And then I can copy this one from auto calendar to the end of this auto calendar and then I, can, then I can paste it over here uh, for the time being I've just have added another field I'm just ignoring that okay so this is another thing that I will come to that particular part later so okay so I just reload it now and after reloading I'm going to refresh this window so that the metadata can be synced and then I'm going to inside advisor and I'm going to see all the analysis and if you see now period or period analysis are visible now so this is how you can you know simply uh, enable your applications for inside generators and especially the period over period analysis, other analysis, I will share the links in the video or the description. 
so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. This period and period of analysis are very, very powerful. Automatically generated analysis for the business users and give you immense value. Okay, so the story does not end here. Okay, so let's just uh, start with one period over period analysis. And uh, yeah, let's just do uh, period changes analysis. And I want interest in sales amount. I'm interested in order amount, order date. And let's just look it by customer. And uh, let's just see the analysis. Okay, so this is the analysis and I can change the month. So by default, it's just getting the data that it uh, thought is the end data. And I can change it by quarter type by year to year as well. So maybe I'm interested uh, now, uh, if I'm interested in different kind of periods, or if you see it's February last month comparison, what if I'm interested in year last year, for example, March to last March. Okay, so 12 months gap or things like that. So what if I'm interested in that? So again, Click has a very interesting and good uh, mechanism for that. Uh, we're gonna come you know, business logic. This is a series for the business logic. So we're gonna see very first of the business logic as well, how you can edit the business logic. This thing can be integrated here. So the business logic is nothing. It's basically uh, Click do some things by default, uh, but if you want to change them or want to add a few things in there, uh, that you can you know do at your own you can use business logic so in business logic there are different things so i'm gonna go to calendar periods for now okay you see click script has actually done by the back end automatically done some things in here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a new calendar period and i'm gonna say that use that order date and as soon as i go and order date it does auto calendar you see because I have done created auto calendar on that. If I haven't done the auto calendar on that, it will not work. Okay. Okay. So then the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to name the period. Okay. So let's just do auto calendar and I'm going to say last year month comparison. Okay, so the green, I'm working on the month to month and I can use the loss sorted value. Loss sorted value is actually the one last two sorted values. They are comparing with each other or I can compare month over month or the custom one. I can offset. I'm going to zero. So offset means that current I want to compare my last month would be the latest month or the month before that. And then I can say, okay, last offset, compare offset is 12 period. So for example, if I'm comparing quarter to quarter, it would be four because, you know, I have to offset four. If I'm comparing um, year, it would be one or maybe like, you know, the COVID, because of the COVID, a lot of companies are comparing 2022 with 2019. So it can be offset of three. So these things can be, you know, you can define your own custom logic here so that whenever you do uh, whenever you go to your inside generator it has more intuition more focused on your own business case rather than just a random or uh, not random but you know ai based uh, which ai can be stupid at time so uh, rather than using that so now if i use that and i have that in here and then it says relative and let's see how that impacts. Now, if I go to my inside advisor here and let's see the same analysis, uh, let's see how this particular thing that I've added, how that will, that is going to impact. Okay. So I go to inside advisor again and let's go to period or period changes that we just did. So sales amount, it's going to be order date and let's just go again by the customer and open the analysis. So in this particular analysis, if I just click it now, now I have one other one. And if you see the last month comparison, it says uh, null on null because my data as for 
2020-14 is it has been the latest data this will auto automatically be populated because the data is very very much old uh, it's not populated by default it would populate for example march 20 the first period would be by default how it will behave is like uh, it's gonna show like this and uh, here it's going to show like this because of the offset of 12 months so the period one the comparison period would be 12 periods back so this is how uh, you see that whenever you add in here these logics that whatever we add in here gets at the back end side and um, you can add as many as period as you like uh, for the comparison um, based on uh, your intuitions or whatever you uh, you um, want for that and maybe let's just change one more thing uh, uh, comparison as it was on comparison it was doing that so if I do that I'm just gonna change on last sorted value yeah so the last sorted value is just by default doing that uh, yeah so we have to be uh, let's say just use last completed period And if we use last completed period, so this is basically, for example, uh, you are interested in currently we are in quarter four of 2022. And if you want to have comparison for a completed period, so this is a parameter that you can use. Uh, and then you can tell, okay, month or quarter or whatever you want, however you want to do that. So you can have, you have these uh, things in here and you can do these default built-in values as well to change that. So that is one way to change the calendar okay so i have recently found uh, you know um, came across uh, some of the analysis uh, which might be interested in weekly basis rather than on a daily basis or um, if you see uh, we do not in this particular calendar we do not have any option for the week even if i select that or the other date and auto calendar is selected my granule level of detail the period level detail is not weak in here and if i close that still i don't have any weak it's just here so let's see if i do not use auto calendar what it does is it basically only uses the fields that are not defined in auto calendar so see i just have these two uh, <coughs> fields as uh, my uh, date field so it is using that so what i'm doing um if i add a week start here so and <coughs> if i reload it now and let's see how this particular thing change on that <coughs> and if i go in here and i do auto date So it does not appear in here. The we start date does not appear in here. You see that there is nothing in there. But let's now if we want to add that, we have to do another thing before I uh, get into more details. So if you see, uh, I have a month. Oh, it's not here. Okay, just give me a moment. Let's just reload it again. At the back end, what does click does is it automatically creates a groupings for similar fields and in this case we have order date and year and uh, yes we, we have to do one more thing so that what I did we have to add that week start that we just did in here we added in here I have to add that as auto calendar tagged as well using auto calendar and as soon as I add do that I will see in that in here just now. Okay, so let's just add this group and add this week start. And we're just gonna add it in, in this particular group. 
and when we add this in group so in our logic and again let's create new calendar order date so the green will start including this as well that's not excluding okay so we have to uh, turn this off auto calendar and we will start this using this one and <clears throat> so we can see you know uh, last sorted value and let's just week say that week comparison here we go and now if I go to my insight advisor period changes let's say sales amount or the date and customer again and we see we have now weekly comparison as well so the week starting on 30th and week starting on 23rd so we have now weekly comparison so this is not uh, uh, um, built in weekly one is not built in so this is how you can build a weekly analysis as well uh, in your uh, um, auto AI series and this can again be used uh, for all lot of other purposes as well and if you can use it wisely you can have uh, same week for the last you know like uh, I offset four periods so I can see your current week versus the same week in the last month so uh, you can use that wisely however you want and this will be very interesting one to see how you can you know uh, play around with that okay so this is very interesting one and uh, this is how you can uh, enhance your auto calendar uh, and uh, for example you have a practical application where you use script and there is no auto calendar now and then it might use like you know the end user cannot took the full benefit of this insight generator because of this particular issue so you can just add auto calendar and then you can add some business logics to add further um, um, spice into your auto analysis thing uh, i'm gonna cover the business logic in more detail in the next videos uh, we will be talking about the other aspects of the business logic that will again help us to generate these ai insights more streamless uh, more seamless and uh, more meaningful for your own organization uh, so stay tuned for that thank you very much